Today, we're gonna take a look at what happens when you have a pot and a jet boil, but the pot is not from jet boil. Plus, we're gonna test the MSR pocket rocket against the flash jet boil with pot stand using the Stanley cup to try and see which one will boil two cups of water faster. What's up folks, welcome to the channel. Welcome to another episode here at Gideon's Tactical, hanging out with the buddies around the campfire and wanted to do this real quick video with you. You know, recently we did the jet boil flash and it basically does exactly what it claims to do, giving you really quick boils with the jet boil system that they have that integrates and locks together on the burner. But what happens if you don't need something that small, you need something a little bit bigger, like today we're out with the crew, all hanging out, having fun. So we need to boil a lot more water than just two cups to have coffee for all six of us. So what do we do when I have a big pot not compatible with a jet boil? Well, for about $8, and we'll have links in the description below over to backcountry.com as well as Amazon, you can pick up the jet boil pot stand. This is a little pot stand that just clicks right on over the element, then giving you enough space to rest your pots and pans and whatever else you would want to cook over your jet boil element if you need something that's a little bit different, either say like a frying pan or just a larger container than your current jet boil system. So let's go ahead and take a quick look, show you what it has to offer and whether or not this is a good adapter piece for your outdoor system if you already own a jet boil or you're thinking about buying one. All right, so the pot stand couldn't be simpler. It will fit in um, jet boils, different cups that they offer, including the flash, which I've previously tested. It will seat nicely with all of your other elements. It's designed to do that. The instructions are right there on the case on how you can stuff it all in there. Then there's just the little arms that kick out, and that's all you got to do. Seat it on your element, twist, and it's locked into place. Untwist, and you take it right off, and you're good to go. So, I mean, we had a great time. Uh, this did a great job. I was using a Sea to Summit, I believe it's their Alpha Series pot. Uh, it's a larger pot for me that I was able to boil enough water, 32 ounces of water, uh, so that we could make some coffee with our GSI H2 Joe and an Algene. Uh, worked great for the whole crew. And uh, the, the stand does, I mean, it's this very simple, basic product, but it does exactly what it's supposed to do. It's made out of stainless steel. It's gonna weigh 1.2 ounces, so it's really nice and lightweight and uh, gonna be, from what I can tell, durable and long lasting and just give you more versatility out of a jet boil. So obviously the functionality is there, but I wanted to also do a side-by-side -side test with my Pocket Rocket 2.0 uh, from MSR to see how the element with it not using the proprietary jet boil heating system, which is super fast, boiling about two cups of water in around two minutes for on my um, testing that I've done. It's not scientific, but it's a data point. We do all of our testing here in the backyard, so I have a plumb line. Uh, we're at a mile high, 5,280 feet uh, in my backyard, is which where we test this out. So what I wanted to do was take my Stanley 24-ounce um, Cook Camp cup that I use for a lot of boiling. Uh, it is stainless steel and uh, wanted to use it uh, up against and use it with not only the jet boil stand to see how long it would take with the stand to actually boil water, two cups of water, but then wanted to do it with the pocket rocket and see which one was a little bit faster just to see you know fuel efficiency, heating, all that. So uh, used it, set it all up. Uh, now the teeth for the jet boil pot stand are just large enough to support this uh, bottom of the um, Stanley pot. The pot is somewhat smaller than most, having a uh, minimum diameter at the bottom of the pot of three inches. So it was just able to nestle itself into the tongs. Um, you would usually want to go something bigger. Definitely don't go smaller than two, or sorry, than three inches with that pot or any pot cook set that you would be using with this cook stand. So lit it up, had it go, and it took us uh, five minutes and 30 seconds on the dot to get that thing boiling and ready to serve. Then I wanted to give plenty of time for the system to cool down, let the pot cool down and do it again. So I let the pot, get, I emptied the pot, let it stand for 45 minutes, came back out, put on the Pocket Rocket 2.0, uh, lit that baby, 
put two cups of water in again and set it up ready to go. Now the, the Pocket Rockets tongs are a little bit smaller, so it's easier to support smaller cups or pots like this system. Um, whereas the um, pot stand is more for like pots. So uh, that is something to note is that the, the Pocket Rocket will support and stabilize uh, narrower cups and pots better than the um, jet boil will. So I uh, had that thing go and shockingly, right around four minutes, just over four minutes, so almost a minute and a half faster boil time with the Pocket Rocket than with the jet boil flash element and the, or the jet boil element um, and, and the pot stand. So that was very surprising that um, this actually, the, the Pocket Rocket, um, and they were both at max when I did both these tests, you know, put the elements burning up at max. Uh, the Pocket Rocket is significantly faster than the jet boil when you are not using the jet boils integrated system and just using this pot stand. So that's something, a data point I wanted to give you guys uh, when you are making a decision on whether or not you want to get a jet boil or an MSR pocket rocket. If you already own a jet boil, then it obviously makes sense to buy this piece. It's an adapter piece. It'll make your jet boil more versatile and it'll cost you like under $10 and it'll add about an ounce to your overall kit. But if we're talking about speed of boil times, the Pocket Rocket in this configuration is quite a bit faster than this pot stand and uh, jet boil element combination. Well, folks, there you have it. Hope this video has been informative, showing you what this little item can do, whether or not it's something to purchase in general to help use your jet boil element in more systems and in more and with more uh, pots and pans outside of just the jet boil name and name brand item. So I wanna thank you guys for coming over today, checking out this quick video. I hope it's been informative, it's been fun. Uh, thank you for using all the hyperlinks that we offer to you below. Also over to Blade HQ if you're looking for tools, knives, hatchets, tomahawks, multi-tools, flashlights, or you're in the market for a pair of really inexpensive but very high performing sunglasses, knock around sunglass company for the sunglasses for the whole family. The whole crew loves them. My brother's rocking a pair. My buddy cameraman Brian's rocking a pair. Fantastic, fantastic sunglasses for the whole family. When you guys use those hyperlinks, it really helps us out, continue to do what we do here. Check us out on the Instagram, all the social media. Love to hear your guys' thoughts, any questions you have, answer. I'll try to answer them in the comments below. Don't forget about asking questions, hashtag mailbag, and you might get it answered in an upcoming video. And finally, guys, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.